Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So the backyard hooligans have discovered some information that leads them to believe there might be a small Star League facility somewhere here at the end of the valley. So they've set out to go and see if they can find that. On the way though, they stumbled across Americ Lance and have now found themselves in a firefight. Like Alright, so this is a two skull assassinate mission and the person we got to take out is in a, is in a uh, cicada. Now, it's also said that there's a heavy lance supporting them. So, uh, I've run a couple of these in the past where it's been like one skull and one and a half skull just to grab some salvage because assassinate missions are always great for numbers of mechs to get salvage from. And in this particular mission, we like in those missions, I ran up against a bunch of heavy mechs. So, this is a two skull. I'm expecting to run against heavy mechs again. So, I'm hoping that's what it is because then it'll be kind of a little bit more exciting, but we'll see how it goes. The lance has changed um, ever so slightly. Not a tremendous amount, but a slight amount. So our Phoenix now is running a large laser and an MRM-30 uh, and an LRM-5. So I took out the SRM that we had in here. I believe it was in, we had an SRM-6, an LRM-15, uh, something like that. So we've got an MRM for heavy direct fire and an LRM with running just chaff ammo, half ton of chaff ammo. That helped, that's actually working fairly well. And then we got this one, this mech stayed pretty much the same. I've got an SRM-6 in here now with acid ammo. So that's helping out a little bit more. Move you up. And you'll notice here on the fire starter, I swapped out the LBX-20 for an LBX-10. And we've got two tons of ammo in here. So we got cluster and slug. It's a little less of a punch, um, but with the added ammo, I can be firing all the time. So in the long run, it kind of works itself out. Plus this thing is super accurate. Now I did lose the one arm with all of the flamers in it. So um, in one of the other matches that I played, so I had to replace it with the flamers that I had. So you have two flamer hotshots and a pair of regular flamers uh, because dropping the, the uh, LBX 20 for a 10 gave us a bit of extra space. So I was able to drop another flamer in as long as, as well as the two tons of ammo. So. This thing's actually got working it. pretty good. Then we got our AC2 carrier, which obviously stays the same because I can't do anything to it. Uh, let's just move you up. And then we've got a light mortar carrier that I was able to put together. I've also got a hunter too that I, that's just an LRM20 hunter that uh, we can put together. But I brought this guy along because this uh, mortar carrier, well, it has a very limited amount of ammo um, for it being a mortar 12. It's also got incendiary. So I'm thinking if there's heavy mechs here, or infer infernal ammo, if there's heavy mechs here, um, we can use the fire starter and this guy to uh, overheat them. So that's the thought behind this anyway. Let's just switch to standard ammo for now and flare. I have to be very uh, careful in how I use the ammo on this thing because it goes real fast. And then of course we brought our, our galleon. This is the, oh shit, uh, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. We gotta take a mech down fast now and that's what this guy will do. And that's the lance. Now, the fire starter also, I managed to pick up a level one. Oh shit, what the hell is this thing? Zukov. Avatar. Okay. I knew it would be a heavy lance. I just didn't know what we would be up against here. Uh, I'm not going to crest the hill just yet. Zukov probably can get a line on this if it gets over here. So we're going to try and head this way, I think up this way and then crest here attack down into the valley so we'll do that what's up boss so yeah I was as I was saying the um, the fire starter uh, is that gonna be enough that's enough okay the fire starter has got a level one um, advanced optics in it now too so it should give it much better chance to hit at least I'm hoping that's what it does it's the one with the night vision the, uh, the yeah, zoom commander. and the uh, Night vision, zoom, and we'll, I don't, can't remember what the other. Uh, night vision, Let's zoom. Go. Oh, and the um, thermal sensor. Okay, we've got another vehicle back there. Talos, okay. A Talos or Talon? Talos. Manigore heavy tank. So I'm kind of yep. happy. There's a couple of tanks. We should be able to smash those relatively simply. Now I have ga gra gab gabbed, gathered um, 
a few items to turn the swordsman into a melee mech. Um, unfortunately, it's got to be the swordsman. What for those carriers, man? I don't get it. Light damage, Commander. So it's going to have to be the swordsman for the melee mech because I picked up a um, vibro sword off of a uh, Light damage. Urban Knight 9000. But it needs two two hands, and the only mech I have with two hands is just a hammer. Um, is the swordsman? So it's going to be a swordsman. Um, let's go here. Confirmed. Because the Zukov might get a chance to shoot at somebody. We're going to drop some chaff on it, help out a little bit here. Oh shit, he's got an AMS. Okay. All right, good to know. Uh, yeah, so the swordsman is going to... We're going to drop the uh, Ultra 20, obviously, off that guy. Uh, I'll get a shot in the vehicle. Let's just go here. So the swordsman will um, become the melee mech. Ready for orders. And what I'll do is... Maybe shooting at this guy because he might be the only guy Copy that can that. shoot back. 8.1. Sure. Firing on target. Take a pot shot at him anyway. Negative damage. So the ult so the uh, rotary five will probably end up going on to the thunderbolt because we've got two orders. ballistic in the one arm for the thunderbolt. The mortar carrier up somewhere safe. We're going to hold off shooting this this turn. We get better eyes on. So the rotary five will go in the thunderbolt. I'll take the PPC off of the thunderbolt and put that onto the phoenix. Take the large laser off of the phoenix, and probably lose the LRM at the same time. Get another vehicle. System holding. We got to smash the guys on this side real fast. Prowler. All right, so we're not. It's not too bad. That AC carrier is going to take a significant amount of damage. All the matches that I played up into this, like the offline ones that I've been playing, they've really been that look like a fire starter. They look like they've been targeting the carrier a fair bit. So basically, I just I get it into the com get it into combat, and then at a certain point when it's taken about half of its armor and damage, yeah. I just fade it back and out of the out of the match. Then they, of course, will switch targets, but then that's fine. All right, I think we need to start with the Avatar. Manicore, I think it's a PPC build. And an SRM, LRM. It's got a wide variety of weapons, I believe. Yeah, so we can't really target much else. So let's get up here. Give these guys some armor Understood. to shoot at. So this is a fire starter. Yeah, it was. Okay. So we'll go after the avatars, change these to LRMs. I'm thinking about taking the streaks off of this. I don't know. They're working. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're working. It's really just the number of tubes. Like, what do you need? I don't know. I, I haven't really decided yet what I want to do with that. All right, we don't want to put you in vehicle sight. How aggressive do I want to be on this turn, though? Uh, let's reserve you. Let's hold off and see what they do. But he's going to back up. Bolt on AMS needing a bit of work. Well, we got one of them anyway. 50 tubes. I don't know if those are rockets or if this has got. Well, they're still intact, so he's got rocket. He's got missile launchers, probably. So we need to get on him fast, so. Let's get up here. Let's move. Once we're down in this valley here, these guys will have a hard time hitting us, so. 
You now we do have incendiary ammo on this guy as well. Um, yeah, I think we got to keep on him though. Yeah, it's really the only option. All right, just keep on the avatar. I gotta get better targeting systems for this guy. Receiving you. Gotta sprint with the swordsman because this thing's so damn slow. I gotta when we make this into a melee mech, we're gonna up the engine and everything on it to make it way faster. Let's just go with four shots. Okay, we landed one of them. Not bad. Okay, hammer. Parabella M5s it looks like. Nothing. Beautiful. So this should be an interesting fight. I've also got two mechs sitting in bay that are gonna be the mechs that we find at this uh ready for orders. Let's get you. Let's leave you there for now. Let's get you in the trees, though. Uh, let's pull you back this way. Yeah, so after this mission, we're going to have two new mechs. I got two mech bays ready to go. Uh, do we go after this guy, or do I just... Probably. 15. If about the same. Might as well shoot it on this guy. We got the flare on him. Some standard yeah, ammo. Yeah. Fine. A little bit of damage, a little bit of heat. Good to go. Keep you getting coming up this hill here. All right, can we hit the hammer? Twelve percent, ten percent. Let's go after the hammer. Yeah, hoping for a pot shot. Fail to connect. So in the battles that they've been shooting after, yeah, they've been shooting. In the battles that, that they shoot the carrier first, I haven't run out of ammo in it, so I don't mind shooting with a low percentage chance to hit, because it's really irrelevant. Uh, did the Zukov move? I don't think it has yet. Uh, so let's reserve again. I know it's going to push our initiative back next turn, but here it comes. Okay, so he's got stuff that's got to go away fast. All right, so I think I know who the vehicle, our, our yeah. rocket vehicle is going to go after. I don't, shit, I don't have enough uh, vigilance, eh? This assumes that I'll be going before their vehicles, which I think I will be. So let's get into here. Copy that. Also, this is 45 ton max, so it's not so bad. It could take a little bit of damage. So we only got the AC-10 on this guy. Mediums and 52% with the AC-10 on this guy. What's this guy's armor like? A lot of armor on this guy. 30% on you, eh? 39. Let's go with the better chance to hit. Uh, I'm gonna do cluster, make it even better. Slow the UAV ping on this thing. Uh, so if I can get in close, I'll probably throw that up one turn. But yeah, I've got a pair of mechs that we're going to find after this mission. So we'll have a Lance of Six after this. They're not, they're nothing overpowered, but, um, they're, uh, definitely, um, definitely usable, flexible. They allow us to at least up our, um, our skull rating a little bit. Yep. Okay, now do we go after the Zukov? Confirmed. Or do I keep going after the Avatar? The Avatar's got all those missiles though. We have a better chance to hit on the Avatar. What's the armor on this guy? Actually pretty chunky. Let's keep on the Avatar. So he does have an LRM-50 loadout. Two pulse lasers. Okay, PPC hit, nice. Give him some sensor impairment. Let's 
It's going to take more than uh, a couple turns to take that guy out, too. I know we're grouped up here, but I don't really have too much of a choice at this point. Let's move over on this side. Coordinates received. Sorry about the uh, work going on outside, if you can hear like the chainsaw or whatever, the tools that are running outside. Got it. Our neighbors um, are uh, doing a lot of rentals in their house, so it's been going on for the past week or so. What's up, boss? Hopefully it won't last too long. It's been off and on all day. I closed my front window, but I got to keep the side window open because it gets really hot Hold up here in the attic. Position. So, all right, let's get on this guy. Uh, let's wind it up. Let's wind it up. Nice. Scored a critical hit. What do you need? Fuck me. That's not a bad position there, although it puts you in right in the range of that fucking, uh... Uh... Damn. Like, if we go... There. Thirty percent, really, eh? Fifty percent. Let's get into here. Understood. Moving fast. Hope that Zukov decides he's not going to go after this guy. Now let's see if we can get some good work done on this guy here. Um, cluster or slug? Let's go with the better chance to hit. I don't... I think we're outside. There's a certain range where it doesn't matter whether you're using cluster or not. It won't break apart after until it reaches a certain range. So we might get a cluster shot on this or it might not be. Attacking from position. Yeah, we have a cluster shot. Okay, good. 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 Orders. He saw their cluster shot and knew it was good. Yeah, fuck me. How do we sneak up on these guys? We don't. We don't. Not yet. Oh, he didn't move. Uh, barely hit, Commander. So he must have ultra tens. Yeah. You got a large laser, not a PPC. Losing lots of armor. Yeah, you got lots of armor, don't worry. Once these guys are gone out of here, we'll be fine. That's the hammer. What's up, boss? Can we get you into here? We can. Yeah, you can see the I'm armor is still pretty good. They're splashing it everywhere. So we're still pretty good. We want to go after this guy and see if we can get some more instability. Maybe get a knockdown on him. Got one hit. That's it, eh? He's going on 10. Is our mortar... Oh, he's going now. Never mind. I was gonna, I was gonna say, I hope our mortar carrier goes before him. Why do they choose the carrier? I guess because it's a carrier and they just assume that it's going to have, like, I mean, if it was an SRM-6 carrier, I would get it. I guess it just, it, they could just assume that it's, like, that dangerous. And it's probably a good idea for the, uh, the, uh, a the, um, the AI to assume that kind of thing. Because not assuming that a carrier is dangerous could be very bad for them. I'm assuming that's what it means, like for the Hetzer as well, right? Like really, the 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 scary the scary thing is the rocket galleon. The one punch on that is going to just wreck one of these mechs or one of these vehicles. That's the scary thing. So, why they're focusing on like 
We could use it to kill this guy next turn. Shit, what do we lose? Ah, hot shotgun. Damn it. I just put that thing in. I got a flamer to replace it, so I'm not worried, but still. I think it's only a clan flamer, though, so I have to be careful. About how many flamers we lose. Oh. Looks like the carrier may have to retreat now. Stay in the trees, let's respond to that. Let us respond to that attack. Engage. Good night, sweet prince. I hope we can salvage that. I'm just glad the guns are off the field. That's all I'm happy. That's uh, I'm just happy about that. Because this second lance doesn't really have the juice to do, uh, do too much to us. Yeah, it's weird, because, like, the one skull mission I took that's similar to this one... Fuck! Off! Goes all my flamers. Standing by. Yeah, the one skull mission had an Orion and a uh, Centurion. Wait, well, that's not going to work. There's no way I can get in. So that guy's already gone. Okay. Going full Can't frost. see me here. So I think we're in strike re range of that Zukov now. That's really the threat at this point. Yeah. Roger. We're going to pull our fire starter back. All right, well, let's piss him off. Confirm. Orders? Standing by. So that's our left side gone. God, yeah. Not the best positioning, but I think it's the one that we can I can live with the most here. Gotta use vigilance, unfortunately. Take a shot at this guy. Wow, lasers missed, but at least we got a shot on him. Waiting for orders. All right, Trike. Let's get on that Zukov. Still wound up. Yep. Yeah, firing the acid. Beautiful. Now oh, we got two hits on it. All right. Yes, Commander. Two hits. I think we're okay here. Same thing. Wish I had acid ammo for this thing, but I don't. So let's go this route. Copy that. Oh uh, man, at least he's only landing like one shot here or there. Orders. If he was landing more than that, it could be Double a real bad time. Go. 32. 26. Take the 32 and fire away. Oh, we got, what, two hits on him? Three hits? Damn it. I got an armor breach. You do? Probably a leg or arm hit. Damage minimal. No, you don't. Talking about armor breach. Aye, aye. Stop complaining! Um, yeah, crap. I'm here. He's going on 19. If 
I don't move. Damn it. There's nowhere I can really go that these guys won't prey on them. That's the left side facing. I can't have that. Like it's everywhere I go is in range for these guys. If I go here, the question will be can the zoo. Ah, oh, that guy can still hit me in the front though. Do we reserve? can't reserve. Aye, aye. I gotta move. Like that's still a possibility of him shooting me in the front. And the other vehicle can move over and attack. There's nowhere I can go that I can just hide from these guys, though. Let's do that. Definitely not the best. But we're taking it. Roger. Wow. Really? Damn it, I missed. Looked like you were shooting for the Zukov. See what that fire starter does. He's probably gonna come and prey on mine. I mean at least we get ten percent redu oh wait, what? Maybe it was their leader. Okay, it's the hammer moving. So going after that carrier. This thing is a bullet magnet, I'm telling you. Once we're over this hill, hopefully it won't be so bad. I'll just turn my back to the enemy and hopefully they can just hit my rear my rear armor. Okay, you're moving away. All right. Uh, commander? Move order received. I still think the Zukov is the major threat, so we're going to go after this guy. Uh, full rack. Okay, three hit. Acid ammo's on. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. This is your time to shine, baby. I think we don't mess around. I think we go for the, the we go for the full shot on this one. On it. Yeah, fuck you. Trashed. You got that right. I'm out of SRMs. That's all right. Your job's done. Back to the carrier again. Okay, just a mop up up here, and then we can go after the uh, the guys down below. Yep. All right. Think the vehicle first. MRMs, better chance to hit and firing. Oh, that PPC is so like standing by. Even in the matches that you guys don't see, Move into position. it misses so often on high percentage chances, and I don't know why. Uh, that's the difference. It's, um, yeah. Confirm.
Nice. Got past the armor. Inflicted some heavy damage. AC2 carrier should be able to finish that up, I think. Waiting for orders. Let's get to a position where we're not going to shoot our own guys in the back this time, please. All you got to do is land one good one. Or not. Negative damage. Really? I wouldn't say the damage was negative. I would say it was nil. Nil damage. I haven't had truce in the carrier for a little while because he, he took a wound and was out of action for a bit. Get into here. Location confirmed. So was architect in there, but I want her. I wanted her in the uh, galleon because it's she's so much faster that way. I got 20 rounds of inferno. I think I want to save that for the Talos. I think so. Not quite enough. Target's we'll definitely be able to see it next turn, though. He goes on 17. Oh, he's going to... So we'll go, we'll go before him. It's nice how that they settle that. Like, if everyone's going on 17, it's the opposite of whatever team moved last. Next on fire! Uh-huh. Fuck. Fuck me. Well, I got a hunter. So. But this vehicle is just so good. Like, it's so lousy at the same time, but it's just so need? good. Get to here. I know I can switch to PPC firing modes, um, but I've done that a few times in the past and the PPC's gotten damaged and I've had a hard time hitting with that after that, so I try not to switch unless I absolutely have to. Firing. Hopefully we can get some of your flamers. <laughs> He's dead. That guy's dead. So is this carrier. A hard hit there. I see that. Standing by. Do you uh, want to get some revenge? Do you want some revenge? I think you do. Let's take some revenge on this guy. Okay, I'm on it. Got past the armor. Nice. All right. Uh, who's left? Hammer, Prowler. Still going after that fucking carrier. Good thing you're a terrible shot. Ready for orders. I get a solid blue line on this, uh I can't. That's alright though. Let's go to here. So, uh our rotary's jammed anyway, so let's just go after this guy. There he goes. Nice. You're way out of position, buddy. For orders. Let's not shoot ourselves in the back. On the move. Full speed. Come on, fire! Yeah, the heat sinking on my max is pretty damn good. And it's only because I've managed to pick up a bunch of um, a bunch of items like like the uh, endo and um, feral fibrous and some gyros and stuff to lower uh, the overall weight of the mech. Well, it doesn't really lower it, but it allows me to. Oops, one of the air burst. It allows me to uh, add more stuff to the mech. But I've only got a certain number of weapon Firing slots, right? Down. So. Critical hit, Commander. Thank you. Thank you very much. Surprised you didn't bail out after that. 
So I can add a, like, I was able to add some heavier weapons and things like that, but still it's like, get to there. Moving to position. I don't know where I was going with that, thought-wise. Nice. Enemy vehicle destroyed. All right, now we can turn and fight these guys. Yeah, so with like a limited number of like weapon slots, it's like I can only add what I can add. Like I can't. The Omni Mech is great because I can add so many different weapons to yep. it, right? Whatever loadout I want, I can I can accomplish. But with these guys, it's like copy that. You know, I got two missile slots, one one ballistic, one laser. It's like that's it, right? <laughs> So you got one major weapon platform and a couple things to support it. Or, you know, in the case of the uh, Phoenix, I'm going to have two major weapon platforms. So I'll have the MRM-30 and then a PPC to back it up. I'm here. So we got to keep our right side to the enemy. So let's move up to there. I'll probably just stay back and fire the AC-10 at range. Standing by. You might as well start to engage if you can. Location confirmed. 20%, dial it down to 3. Got lots of ammo. That hammer's invincible, man. Damn it. Yeah. That ain't your fault. The guy's hard to hit. Okay, we got, got the Talos it. in range now. Just running. I think I'm up on the rock, yeah. Up on the rock, doing a little bit of peeking on this guy. Switching to LRMs. MRMs only marginally different, eh? Alright. Roger. Did that PPC hit 27? Was that the hit? Somebody's got a missile loadout. Waiting for orders. Uh, I want you to spend your time. Let's move. Getting to the front here. I don't know if I want to have you engage or not, but we'll see. Moving to position. We're gonna go after these guys over here. Simply because they're uh, grouped up. Firing all weapons. Airburst is kind of okay. It works really well against flyers, because that's what it's designed for, but I don't mind it so much. But it's like a secondary platform, like a like secondary we weapons platform, because it does spread the damage over a variety, like a large variety of uh, area. Yep. I'll do what I can. We're going to duel it out with this guy over here. Alright, uh, what do we got? LRM-10... Heavy PPC plus capacitor, that's not good. Alright, let's just fire on them right now. Copy that. Be nice to be able to get that. Building a Phoenix around a heavy PPC and an MRM-30 would be nice. I don't know if we can though, I don't know if we've got the weight available for that. Damn it. I think my AMS is out now. Yes, Commander. Or it's close to being out anyway. Can we get... We can't get you in there. Shit. I was hoping to see the Talos by now. Is that better or is this better? I think this is better. I don't know if those rocks over there are going to be an issue for me. So if I come up this way... I can at least crest here, but if I go up this way, like, he can hide behind these rocks and I might not get a direct line of sight on him, but we will drop some chaff on him. Reduce his chance to hit a little bit. Ah, we missed. Negative damage. Standing by. Bring you up over here. Just brace for now. I'll probably utilize the UAV ping. We might run up a bit and then ping this guy. 59 damage. Not too, too bad. Oof. 
Somebody's got uh, heavy fire here. Good to go. Let's get into here. Position confirmed. Somebody's got hydra ammo. Seventy-two. Sixty-six. Let's just go to five. Less chance to jam and a little bit better chance to hit. Yeah, so this swordsman, I can turn it into a melee mech fairly easily. So we're gonna try that. Good to go. And this whole series, I've yet to like run a melee mech, so we're gonna try that. I'm gonna move up like this. So wait, that's the. Yeah. Like that. Making sure at least a. Better part of our armor is facing the enemy. Affirmative. Okay, we need to get on this guy. So his heat's up a little bit. So let's go with the last of our flare. We can get a better chance to see him and some inferno. Then we'll go all inferno next turn. All weapons are good. Enjoy the heat, buddy. AC2 ammo depleted. He's going on 15. We got 20, 20, 17. If I reserve, we'll probably go past 15, though, so I have to get out and shoot him. Oh. Who is that? This guy? No. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We still got to kill that cicada at the end, too. Still got to kill the cicada. I'm here. Uh, it's not the best chance to hit. We got our... That's our right arm, right? Understood. Moving fast. Yeah, I think we go this route. And then... We're still in LRM territory here. Hopefully we land a few shots. Acknowledge. Crap. Commander. On my way. Alright, let's get some fire on this guy. Yeah, my other guy was experiencing sensor scramble. Gonna put the bolt-on rockets on this guy as well. Front load as much damage on this side as I can. Maybe we can take him down by taking his leg here. I doubt it, but... Might scare him anyway. Plus six heat, that's it? SRM are out. Orders? Start making our way over there. Let's hammer this hammer. Goes his leg. Beautiful. Aye, aye. Ah, uh, man. Do we crest and try and shoot? We're right at the edge of the map here, too, aren't we? Or no? No, we're not. Fifty-two percent. No idea how badly he's damaged. Like, if I got into here, let's say... I'd have to sprint it. The UAV ping, though, is not going to mean a goddamn thing because no one can shoot him this turn. He's going to move and get evasion again anyway. So maybe we do... Um, Max out our running. Get as much evasion as possible and get a shot at this guy. All right, full speed. I think the more we shoot him, the greater the chance he's gonna try and run. Copy that. Ah shit, I know what he's gonna do. 
Nope. That's not what he was going to do. There's some more Hydra for us, though. I'm wounded. Stop fucking yes, complaining. I got All right, keep ourselves partially rotated. I think we go after this guy, though. See if we can finish him off. Of course not. Ready for orders. Don't move. You don't need to move. Just apply some flames to this guy. Roger. Think I hit something good. Protect double heat sink warning. This is going to be an interesting fight against this Talos. Yep, interesting fight against the Talos, that's for sure. Okay, um, Digger's up first. Roger. It's gonna walk it over here. It's a front shot. Okay, let's see what my options are here. You know what, I think we're just gonna shoot him again. Uh, it's a pretty good chance to hit though. I wonder, what's his legs? Uh, legs got a lot of armor. I think we just shoot him. So his bolt-on rockets are gone. So his rocket firepower is damaged. His heavy PPC plus capacitor is... What arm? Probably this arm, or it could be in a torso. I think we just shoot him, though. Firing. He's standing in fire, too, which is going to make it bad for him. He's going before us. So that gives us the ability to... Oh, who is that? Waiting for the main guy, probably. Okay, our rack is still up. Almost on that Talos. This guy's got chunky armor, too. Can we go to six? Let's go to six. Okay, he's exposed. He's trying to cool himself off. Aye, aye. Oh, nope. to here. Ah, shit. Orders. Thought he would have at least one evasion, but apparently not. Move order received. Let's heat this guy's ass up. Um. We just shoot him or I try to... Let's go this route. Yeah, it's friggin' inflicted some heavy damage. Okay, his PPC is like severely damaged. Receiving you. Okay, I can't use a mortar on him now anymore. Because we're too close. But we can use it on this guy. Might as well air burst it up, trying for the torso. Oh. How'd you guys enjoy that? That air burst, man. It's okay. They want to try and at least get the carrier. I don't blame them. Commander. I'd be like, we gotta get at least one mech to show for this, or one vehicle. Well, they got the they got the galleon, but that doesn't really count. That was a gimme. Roger that. Nice. Bad that we lose salvage, but nice that he's neutralized so he doesn't get to shoot this turn. So this guy's going on 17, we go on 18 and 19. So we do have a chance to try and take his leg now. 
He's not toasty anymore, though. He's not standing on fire. Oh, there's the cicada. Finally showing up. Standing by. Okay. On my way. Got a chance to get... Gonna try it. Cluster's slightly better. I'm taking a shot. At least we know some of them are gonna hit, right? Scored a critical hit. I'm here. Do I even move? That's pretty darn good. Can't say no to that shot. Attacking from position. Ooh, that was a leg hit. Not enough, though. Not enough. Enough to scare the shit out of him, though. Oh, something broke. Fuck off. Ah, I lost my upper that recoil. One, I think. Yeah, Commander. I don't want a back shot. Fuck's sake. We're jammed too, so let's uh go this route. Moving out. Work on this guy, and then we'll come back when we're not jammed. Alright, we kill that guy, that works. One more for the trash heap. Waiting for orders. out. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. That's how we roll. Let's go after this. That's a little much. But we got to do it. Just can't let this guy shoot again. There goes the leg. He bailed. Oh, okay. We lose all the electrical components in the head, but that's fine. Standing by. At least the engine survives. All right, time to pot shot way. this guy. I gotta be careful. This guy doesn't try to run, though. Primary target damage, commander. Yes, commander. Time to kill the commander. Roger. This should be quick and relatively painful for him. Um, we got eight standard and four air burst, and that's it. We got one turn of firing. <laughs> we'll just hold off here. One turn of firing left, so that worked out. But you see what I mean, how limited the mortar carrier is? It's really one of those backline. Um, backline vehicles that you just kind of use situationally so we use the inferno at the right time you know you use the standard and flare as best you can you know you just kind of like use it only at the right moments just like the galleon it's got its moment right you bring it out at the right moment and that's all it's that's all it's really good for all right uh let's go this way i think Receiving you. Yeah, we got lucky with that Talos. Probably could have. I'm not going to shoot just yet, because if I do shoot, he may decide to run, and I don't know where his flea point is, which means he could probably get away from us, because my mechs aren't that fast. Without the galleon, we can't chase him down. All right. Um. You. Stay in firing Moving position, out. but don't bother firing. Oh, wait, do we have a better line on him? Waiting for orders. I might as well move you up, give you a better, better sight. Get out of the trees, a little bit better chance to hit. Come on.
Come on, buddy. All in. You can't win, but go all in. The only way you could win a match like this if it was a term limit. Then he could just stay away from us for that X number of turns. I'm here. Uh, aye, aye. Brace you. You're gonna reserve. Reserving action. Move you up. Coordinates received. I don't want to shoot my own guys in the back. That's why I'm uh, doing it this way. I gotta start learning my lesson here. Solid connection on that one. Ah, uh, commander. The Rackinator here might take care of him anyway. All right, see if we can finish him up. Nope. It still allows you chances to hit, that's what it is. All right, mortars. Mortars on target. How many mechs does it take to kill a Chikata? I'm black on AC2 Let me give you a hint, all of them. Mortars? I'll laugh if I have to use all of my mechs to finish this guy off. Okay, look, looking like it might be the case. I think I hit something good. Standing by. That's not too bad. Understood. We might not need the fire starter if we hit with this guy. All right, switch to LRMs. The one thing I do have to not never worry about really in this mech is the ammo. I've never had to worry about, the, you know, if I was going to have enough ammo or not. Aye, aye. Engaging target. Really? Got past the armor. Our target is bugging out. Stop it before it gets away. Yep, hit all of them. Confirmed. That target ain't going nowhere. Jesus Christ, just kill him for crying out loud. It's a cicada. Hostile removed. Sorry, I had to do that other principle. Mission successful. All right, well, we made a few sea bills. I'm interested to see what we get out of this because the damage on this is just too much. The upper recoil took damage. The three flamers are gone. So we got to do something to replace those. Hopefully we didn't lose the galleon. Four avatar parts is nice. But I need components. Four Talos parts is nice too. Three Zukovs. So there's the heavy PPC plus capacitor. Oh man. I'm thinking I'm going to go for gear in this one because I don't have any flamers left. I know it's crazy as it sounds. It is, I mean, but it's for the series, right? It's not really for me. I definitely would go for a mech, all mech parts. Oh, the Ultra 10. There's Ultra 10s here. XL for coin, which I can always get off camera. Radical prototype double heatsink kit. Two Ultra 10... God damn it. That just does not fit with the... Uh, I can deal without the flamers. This is the pirate version though. Minus 10 heat per turn, minus 20% weapon heat generated. Activates when above 80% heat, deactivates when below 20. So you, what do you, what is that saying? You have to, oh, so it's, in it's deactive mode, it's minus 20% per turn, minus 10 heat per turn. In it's active mode, it's minus 30 heat per turn and minus 20% weapon heat generated.
man, I hate pirate stuff. It's like you you roll the dice every time you use it, and I know it's like it's half the fun of it. Like I don't mind the streaks, the streak launchers, because there's no jam chance, right? So you can use them just as much as you want. But do I have? I don't think I have prototype double heat sinks. Anyway, I've got one. So the only mech that this could go into would be the Thunderbolt. That's it. It's the only mech that this can go into. So... I don't know. You've got Hydra ammo too, though. Chaff. What would the Hydra ammo go into, though? Artemis ammo. We've already got one ton. AMS ammo. Spiked armor, though. Wait, do I have spiked already? I do have spiked already. I think I was planning on using that for the melee mech. I mean, this could... Uh, worst case scenario. <laughs> Radical prototype double heat sink kit. Pirate. Super cooler. So if this... Is <laughs> worst case scenario. If I don't end up using this, it's a good sell for C-Bills. So I'll grab it now. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good roll there. Let's see what we get on the uh, dice here. Two avatar parts, cicada part, fire starter part, which I've already got enough to put a fire starter together. Uh, Prowler AMS C3 unit XL engine, which I'm just going to drop. That can go reinforced. We'll hang on to for. Well, I got one already, so I don't need it. I think I'm going to put this in the milli mech. That can go. That can go. That can go. That's great. That's not bad. So we made out pretty good in the roll, too. I'm actually kind of shocked, but that's kind of nice, actually. All right, so after finding the, uh, like, blowing through these Merrick units and finding that uh, location where we thought there might be some Starly gear, and do we do find, like, a small base there, and we managed to pick up, uh, if we go to the mech bay, that's yeah, not a lot. Pair of cyclones. We got a B2 and, a, and an A3. So the A3 cyclone. Um, I tried to do it so that it would be like kind of at least Starly gear in a way. So this one is a close in mech. Relatively fast mech. It's like 5.8 I think or 6.9 six, six, speed. Um, SLDF cockpit with night vision. AR-12 sheath beacon. It's got a pair of SRM2 launchers with mag pulse ammo. Um, designed to hamper the enemy and a pair of medium pulse lasers. Plus a couple jump jets for, for mobility and a tag to help out. It's also got a C3 unit too, so it helps a little bit. And then, um, I've got to add stuff to the specialist slots eventually, but most stock mechs don't come with that. And then the other guy, the B2, we re refit this guy. This guy's a little bit of an LRM unit. We've got an LRM5 and an LRM10 with uh, Artemis ammo and incendiary ammo and a pair of medium lasers. Plus an ECM. Not as fast as the other one. This one's like 4.6, I think. 4.7. It's a little bit fast, but not too bad. And then, uh, obviously, the Artemis in there. Some heat sinks. So there's, like, a lot of room to work with this guy. Uh, light engine on it. Ferrofibrous end of steel. So we got some stuff up here. Nimble. Does this give us... Move after shooting. Yeah. So both of these mechs are, like, harassers. Uh, I also, on one of the... Um, um, Encounters, or not encounters, what are they called? Uh, you know what I mean, like the... Yeah, the encounters that you get while you're you're waiting. Uh, we, we were able to pick up an AC2 uh, Mirdrin as well, so at some point I'll be putting that in a mech. It's only six tons, which is kind of nice. Plus one accuracy, minus one pi uh, evasion pips ignored. 5% jam chance, which is easily, easy to mitigate by gunnery. Um, and then, yeah, it's actually good range. Half, like, half decent damage. I mean, it only does like 3 times 10 damage. But still, it's not bad for peppering at long range. Plus, I got lots of ammo for it too, so it won't be so bad. I've also got some rotary rifles I'm thinking about adding. Um, got a pair of light light rotaries uh, and ultra light rotaries, which I don't have any ammo for. I don't have any periphery ammo, but I do have ammo for these guys. Not a lot, but a little bit. So I could probably put one in somewhere and test that out, see how that works. Um... But yeah, so we're going to leave this episode here, guys. Um, yeah, the vehicles we have. 
hunter. Oh, we didn't lose the galleon, which is a good thing. Uh, the light carrier and the hunter we got, we picked up, so it's not too, too bad. We're starting to push this amount of sea build limit max that I want to go with these guys because the offline playthroughs, like, I, I don't get a lot of missions where I can make a lot of sea builds, unfortunately, so it's like I'm having to play a fair number of missions just to be able to keep the financial report going, so I'll have to start taking missions against clans and stuff if I can get some. Uh, but in the area that I'm in, uh, probably not going to happen. But I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.